With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. The question says that if A and B are two negative integers, then state the sign of the given expression in each of the following. If no, definitely. Okay. Here the first part A plus B, second A minus B, third A into B and fourth A divided by B. All right. So first part we will take in. We will check the for each part one by one. Okay. First part is A plus B. But question is given already saying that A and B are two negative integers. Okay. That means a is equal to minus a and b is equal to minus b all right so that means we will put the negative sign here so minus a and plus minus b okay all right so this is gonna be equal to minus a and minus b so here the resultant then the final number if we are putting here so this is also we are with negative sign here the sign will be negative Okay, this is the for first part. Now, if we are talking about the second part, so a minus b. Now we will put here also we are putting because a and b are the two negative integers and b is equal to minus b. All right. So my this become minus a and this become minus minus b. So this is equal to minus a and plus b. So here the resultant product either be positive or negative. It depend on the what number we are put it here. If the value of a is greater than b, then this is there are negative sign. Okay. If the value of a is less than b, so there will be a positive sign. So here we can say that either positive or negative sign. Okay, now we will check for third part. Third given as a into b. All right. So a into b. But question is saying a and b are two negative integers. So here we are taking a two negative integer. That is a is equal to minus a and b is equal to minus b. So minus a multiply with minus b. So as we know that if two number in a product and they are multiplying with each number that means with the negative sign so the resultant number will always positive okay yes so here the sign will be positive sign now fourth one is question is given as a divided by b so in this case also here we are putting a is equal to minus a because a and b are the negative two negative integers so a minus a divided by minus b all right so in this case as we know that if two negative integers divided by each other so the resultant quotient always be positive okay so here the positive sign will be there so this is the final answer for this question for each part thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today